ever wondered how crucial an uninterrupted power flow is in high voltage transmission lines? Let's delve into this topic. These extra high voltage lines are responsible for transmitting an immense amount of electrical power. Hence, it's always desirable to ensure the power flow remains uninterrupted for as long as possible. However, sometimes there may be a temporary or even a permanent fault in the lines. Temporary faults can clear themselves automatically without any need for fault rectification. Now imagine the potential losses if there's a delay due to manual operation for reclosing the circuit. We're talking about a significant hit in terms of cost and system stability. To avoid this, we introduce the concept of auto-reclosing schemes in these high-voltage transmission systems. This eliminates unwanted delay due to human operation, ensuring the power flow remains as seamless as possible. As you can see, the stakes are high when it comes to maintaining power flow. Now let's delve into the types of faults in electrical transmission systems that can disrupt this power flow. Imagine a highway buzzing with traffic. Everything is smooth until suddenly an object falls on the road, causing vehicles to swerve and stop. This is similar to a transient fault in our electrical transmission system, a temporary disruption that is often automatically cleared. For instance, a lightning strike might cause a transient fault, but as soon as the lightning is gone, the fault is cleared and power flow continues. But what if the object that falls on the highway is a bit more stubborn, like a tree branch that takes a while to burn away? This is akin to a semi-permanent fault. These faults take a bit longer to clear. They might occur due to foreign objects falling onto live conductors. The power line trips, but once the cause of the fault is burnt away, the line can be restored. Now, imagine a sinkhole opening up in the middle of the highway. The road can't be used until major repairs are done. This is like a permanent fault in our electrical system. A fault that persists and requires significant effort to rectify. For example, if a transmission tower collapses, the line is tripped and it's declared a permanent fault until repairs are undertaken. In an overhead transmission system, 80% of the faults are transient and 12% are semi-permanent. To handle these faults and ensure a continuous power flow, we use an auto-reclosing scheme. This system automatically attempts to reclose the circuit breakers after a fault trip. If the fault is not cleared at the first attempt, it will try again, saving valuable time that would be lost in manual operation. However, if the fault still persists after multiple attempts, the scheme will permanently open the circuit breaker, allowing time for the fault to be manually rectified. This auto-reclosing scheme is crucial in our quest for an uninterrupted power flow. Understanding these faults is key to maintaining the power flow and the role of an auto-reclosing scheme cannot be overstated. Speaking of auto-reclosing, let's take a closer look at its function. The auto-reclosing scheme plays a pivotal role in swiftly restoring power flow after transient and semi-permanent faults. It efficiently eliminates unwanted delays and mitigates potential losses. Imagine this. In an overhead transmission system, 80% of faults are transient and 12% are semi-permanent. The auto-reclosing scheme addresses these faults, making multiple attempts to restore the connection until the fault is cleared. Auto-reclosing is truly a game-changer in the world of high-voltage transmission lines. Now, we hope you've gained some valuable insights about power flow in high-voltage transmission lines. If you found our discussion on transient, semi-permanent and permanent faults intriguing, why not share this knowledge with others? You can do so by simply hitting the like and share buttons. And to ensure you don't miss our future enlightening chats on all things electric, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon and feel free to drop any queries in the comment section. Stay electrified until next time.